In this part of the lecture series on programming with MATLAB or TAFE, we'll look at how to display data, that is mainly how to use the command plot. So let's get started. I'll just open up MATLAB and type in a few lines to demonstrate that it's quite simple to plot data. So first let's store the save the file and start things. Okay, for instance, you have got a vector v with some numbers in it. And you would like to display that. So just type in plot in brackets v. And then a figure will pop up displaying this vector, the content, the numbers, as um, the y values. The x values um, are the indices of the vector that it is. It goes up from 1 to the number to the length of the vector that is 8 in this case. That is neat. However, in most cases you would like to display um, the vector not as a function uh, of the index, I just type in what it is, rather than you would like to plot it as a function of x values. And that might be some other vector with some numbers. So plotting that just requires to add this, um, the name of the vector for the x values um, uh, followed by a comma and the y uh, uh, vector. So in this case the, an error message uh, appears. It's telling us the vectors w and v need to be this, uh, of the same length. And the uh, error is there are eight values in here, but just two, four, six uh, values in the w, and therefore it doesn't work. So um, it needs to have the same number of elements. So in this case, it's actually displaying the data with the y as the um, x values. Right, that's it more or less. And all the other stuff we just um, add uh, is a bonus. Okay, let's do that. For instance, you can add some x label or some uh, y label. Or we'll just start that. Okay, text appears here, and in the same notation, the title. Title is popping up here. Okay, that's neat. And what else would you like to uh, do? In many, many cases, um, you would like to display the V with a symbol for each uh, value. And this symbol is uh, added by quotation mark and the symbol, in this case, this multiplication sign. If you would like to add the line as well, display the line and the symbols at the um, sign for the line and then you have both. Okay, um, what else would you like to uh, display? In many cases you would um, like to have an, a second vector or a third vector displayed uh, in the same uh, graph, so in the same figure. So that can be done. We just create one, let's say, um, the 
vector u is the square root of, um, of this vector v, and we would like to plot that as well. If we plot that w u and would do that, then we just get one line, that is one uh, vector plotted, in this case actually the vector u. The reason behind that is that first uh, this v is plotted, however then deleted to um, allow the other vector do, to be plotted. You need to tell MATLAB that it should hold on the first plot and then display the other one. And then you uh, actually get both plots popping up or both um, vectors popping up uh, even displayed in a different color. Usually it's a good advice to tell MATLAB with hold off that when starting the program again it wipes out all the old stuff and just displays the first plot and basically starting from scratch. Okay, what else would you like to do with, um, with the data when showing um, the plot? For instance, probably you are not, at least I'm not happy, to have the, uh, the range defined set automatically by MATLAB. You can um, define the range with for the x-axis with two values. For instance, you would like to change the range starting from 10 going up to 19. So you need to define that and then the range is changed. Similarly, for the y-axis you can uh, spell out the limit by typing into numbers. Okay, that's it. Um, the figure, it's here automatically figure one, you can um, name by just typing in figure two and then figure two will pop up. The other one is not has not been deleted, it stays as long it, um, as MATLAB is opened or you have told MATLAB to close it. You can't uh, close a figure by just typing in close. In this case, uh, the second one was closed and then uh, close the other one or close, just repeat that, close all and all figures um, disappear. Um, in MATLAB when working with many data you tend to end up with lots of different figures so and sometimes it's uh, need to close everything. Um, surely you can just type that in at the um, top of your program. Right, what will happen um, when we have got a vector, uh, a matrix, and display that with plot. I'll actually display that in the figure two. Then three lines are showing up, and it's, it's actually the um, the matrix is in this case a 3 times 3 and it's plotting each column with a different line. So when you've got lots of data stored in one two-dimensional array it's easy to plot that. In some cases you would like to plot the data um, um, not as a column but the raw. How would you do that? You could transpose, swap um, the uh, index of the matrix either, for instance, 
by creating a different variable and plot that. And then it's different data, basically plotting the m in this way. Or um, you could look that up that you can define with the plot uh, which uh, dimension you want to, uh, along which dimension you want to plot. In all these cases, it's a good advice to check actually the help what you can do with this plot command. So lots of text is popping up. I've never read through the whole stuff. Rather than um, I would just skim through it and look it up. For instance, here is um, some indication that you can change the color or the symbol or the line style. Um, then uh, there are a few more advices here. Try it out yourself. I can't uh, cover that all here in this uh, short uh, lecture. The other thing which is always good to look at is the C also. And you can already spot here different commands. For instance, semi-log y. Yes, it's probably a logarithmic plot or plot 3. Oh, that looks interesting. Or grid uh, on. We can try that out. And an example. And that is neat. If you highlight that and take the right hand mouse button, you get this evaluate selection uh, thing here. Press that and these lines are executed showing what they are doing. In this case a vector x and y is created and then plotted and plotted with different colors and line sizes and, so, and marker sizes for the uh, symbols. So that's a good start um, in case you would like to change um, something uh, with your uh, data, how the data looks like. Anyway, we'll close that and go um, uh, through a few more things. For instance, uh, this grid or grid on command that creates just nice grid lines here. Okay, what else would you like um, to create to have with uh, in a figure? You might, at least I would like to see that, you would like to have a figure where many different um, plots are showing in one figure. And you can um, create that by the command subplot. And that requires three numbers. For instance, I'll just show you in a second what it, how it works. Let's type in subplot 3, 2, 1. That is taking the figure 3 and opening up um, three subplots underneath like in a matrix, however not with numbers or some symbols in it, but with uh, plots. So three subplots underneath and two uh, next to each other, two columns, three rows with subplots. And the last, the third number indicates which of these uh, subplots uh, is taken. So one means this one, okay, the first one. And the indication is you start as in a matrix with the top uh, left, top right, then you just move through the different, uh, through the matrix uh, with these subplots. So if you would type in 3.22, then a second plot is popping up here, right. The subplot 3.26 creates a third subplot 
down here at the last position of the matrix. And now you can basically add with plot um, some subplots, some data to these subplots. We just swap V and W and for instance plot V, uh, let's say the, we would like to display the square of the vector w. Remember that you have to uh, type in the dot for the element-wise um, um, uh, square. Okay, then you have got the um, three uh, subplots with data in, in it. So that's neat. Try it out yourself how that works. And then you can add um, all the other commands here um, um, for each subplot, for instance, the grid on, and then the uh, grid is popping up. Okay, so let's have a look in the script whether I've forgotten anything. Um, the matrix, the subplot stuff is uh, discussed here. Uh, yes, the um, in the help plot we already had a look at the different colors and that is always um, popping up here or um, defined with the quotation mark. Then some symbol is needed, for instance this little um, small O for just a circle, K is for black and this um, symbol here means the dashed line. Um, what is neat, you can plot three-dimensional data in an easy way and that is demonstrated here. I will might just copy these lines um, and show you. Okay, I've, I'll <coughs> copy that these few lines here. So that is, let's have a look, we might delete that. We have got a vector t, some x and y vectors, e, x and e, y created from that and then plotting that in three-dimensional fashion and then you get a plot where you can even change the orientation by this button up here. That's so simple to uh, get powerful graphs. You can copy all the figures here, fi um, edit copy figure to transfer the figure to your, for instance, um, a Word document or any other uh, program where you, for instance, write uh, um, a report. Okay, what else do we have? Um, in many cases, you would like to have error bars. There's just a, a simple uh, command, error bar to get that. You just need to define these error bars here in the vector f. You can display um, data in a different way. For instance here, this pi plot or bar plot, try it out yourself. I won't go through all that in detail. Okay, that's it for the moment. I hope uh, you enjoy plotting data and will discover that it's really, really easy to create nice looking uh, graphs. See you soon.